Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. I'm actually here with Jaren today. We're going to be filming a photo battle, as you could say. Um, we're going to be taking four photos each at three different locations. And you guys are going to vote on my Instagram. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, enjoy the video. Okay, easy. Three locations, two photos at each. Best man wins. And Jaren's dumbass forgot his SD card. So it is now a Photoshop slash editing slash Jaren is an idiot slash Lightroom battle. So, three locations, two photos at each. Whoever edits them best wins. Location 1. Point start right beach front. We spent a good 30 minutes scrambling over rocks and taking some neat photos. After sweltering in temperatures that would put those of Satan's hole to shame, we decided to head to location 2. Seriously though, it was like 30 degrees or something. In a black shirt. Right guys, just finished off at spot number 1. Shut up, man. I can't believe you've done this. Location 2. Point Cartwright Lighthouse. We walked up the hill to location 2 at the point of Point Cartwright to take some photos at the lookout and lighthouse. Jaren did some Fortnite dances and we both stood there shirtless for a good 10 minutes to cool down. <laughs> and of course, some neat photos were taken. Now sweating enough to fill up one of those clam pools you swam in when you were 8 years old, we decided it was time to take a break and get some cold beverages. So off to Mac as we went. I don't want no combo, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this. I'm all in my ass way, I'm a wreck. I've been moving like a hot mess. I'm all in my ass, I'm Cheers. Me too. With the frozos and free water secured, it was off to location three. But freaking nowhere in Marichidor. Honestly, wasn't that many interesting things at this location, so we were forced to get creative. Charon made me lie on the road for a photo that he didn't even use and forced me to shelter in some weeds for some pics. Charon, what are we trying to do right now? Trying to get like a Beatles shot, you know? You know that classic one? He's getting me to lie in the middle of the road for him. Yeah, mate. I gotta win. <laughs> I gotta win. And just like that, we were. Go do a hip flick. Go. Oh, that was fucking well done. Okay, this first photo. Eh, it's alright. Composition is kind of cool. Bit of mysterious vibes and stuff and a stunning model. Honestly, the most disappointing part of this photo is the void that is Jaren's cheeks. Where is this fool's ass? It has been missing for over 17 years. Please contact Crab's office if you have any information. Anyway, the edit. Pros, it's, it's not bad. Cons, it's eh. Photo dolls? I know what you're thinking. Holy shit, Jaden, this photo is so creative and quirky and oh my god, just genius. And honestly, I kind of like this photo, so I have nothing sarcastic to say this time. Straight in the horizon, boosted clarity, gave that shit some curves, and boom, not half bad. Third photo. Not gonna lie, looking at this photo now, I realize it's kind of a little bit boring. The composition is actually alright, and the clouds look gnarly, but it's just a bit of a good photo. Certainly not drill worthy or anything. Added some more blue, more lighting in the top right, and of course, some curves. Final product, sick. Next photo. Photo four. At first, I thought this was a banger shot. It's actually pretty cool, I guess. Not Instagram worthy, perhaps. Overall, not much to say. Made the parachute brighter and added some cake to the photo, and yeah, pretty lukewarm, if I do say so myself. Photo 5. The original photo is pretty simple, but certainly caught my eye. This is one of the only photos that I decided to spare more than two minutes to edit. And the final product was actually pretty decent. Added a film grain type of thing, and yeah. Baby got cake. Photo 6. There was actually a different composition of this photo that I preferred. However, Jaren yoinked that shit, so I was stuck with this one. It's just the talentless older brother of the other one. Still made a pretty cool photo. Literally just slapped a preset on this one because I'm so goddamn lazy. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. Oh. 
Once all the pictures were pimped out, they were sent to me to upload to my Instagram story. So up they went, six from me, six from Yaren. The story stayed up for a full 24 hours for my followers to vote on, and as soon as they got taken down, a winner could be crowned king of editing, at least for this episode. There were three rounds of four photos to a single poll. I had labeled each photo one through 12, and a total of 332 votes were made by my followers. So let us rattle off the results. Photo one, 62 votes. Photo two, 15 votes. Photo three, 15 votes. Photo four, 25 votes. Photo five, 12 votes. Photo six, <laughs> one vote. Photo seven, 53 votes. Photo eight, 42 votes. Photo nine, eight votes. Photo 10, 50 votes. Photo 11, 18 votes. And photo 12, 31 votes. This brings the individual totals to 180 to 152. Now drum roll please. The winner is... Jaren. Even though I secured two of the three rounds, Jaren's heavyweight champ carried him to a split decision win. Well played to Jaren, but I mean, in the end, I did take all 12 photos. All I'm saying, man. Nah, all jokes aside, this was a sick video to film and it turned out to be one of my best videos yet. So give this vid a cheeky like to show that you would like to see more. Also, if you don't, then your mum's dog's pet flea will grant you seven wishes of bad luck for the next 12 alphabets. That's all from me. I'll see you in the next one.